here we are today with the fastest man alive in My Hero Ultra Rumble. Which does make me wonder. Is Ida the fastest character in the My Hero verse? In terms of sheer running? Because <laughs> Deku moves really quick with, you know, one for all. Prime All Might, I think, is obviously quicker. But is there anyone else that rivals him for speed, you know, just outside of the, you know, the one for all business? I don't know. I don't think so. But then again, I'm a little bit. Where are you going? What is he doing? You <laughs> come back, Deku. Just black whipped across the map. Okay. Um. Yeah, anyway, Ida, very cool character. I like the guy a lot. Let me know in the comments what do you think of Ida um, as a character in the show and uh, what do you think about him in the game? See what we can get done today on oh my fucking day. Wait, it's a uh, Royal Rumble. He is best using like a sort of a hit and run aspect. You don't want to sort of hang around with people too much. A bit frustrated that didn't work out for me there, but we might be able to salvage it. Why is that not going the way I want it to? I'm fighting everyone by the looks of it. <laughs> uh, the Deku's, the Deku's probably thinking what the hell is happening right now. And I don't blame the kid. Hopefully the, uh, hopefully the Kendo will be able to hang with me for the, uh, for the match. Level up, da. Let me see if I can get a sneak attack on this guy. Yes, boy. Look at that. And I'm using this time to wait out the uh, the cooldown on the uh, the L1. Little tip for you guys with the L1: always keep an eye on that cooldown meter when it's going down. Because if you go down to zero and you're in the middle of people, you are gonna get killed. What you want to do is you want to save like 15-20%, maybe a bit more if you're not as confident in your running ability. And um, essentially, use that to escape so you don't get caught slacking. See? Like, I d you don't want to have this happen to you down there. At least this way I have like some chance to sort myself out, you know? That's unfortunate. Amazing. <laughs> He should have done his uh, pickup thing, but I guess maybe he thought he was safe. I beg your pardon? <laughs> I beg your pardon? I didn't knock him out of it. Okay. Good girl. Oh no. Unlucky. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Cause I'm low. Right on time. Well, at least I saw I thought until I got third point. With nowhere to go! 
Wow, that was clutch. Clutch get away. He's not showing me on the screen where her card is though, which is not not amazing. So I guess I'm just gonna have to do without it. Made sure I got as close to that box as possible so I can uh, use the cooldown time to may as well be opening this, you know? Alright, I can still revive um, the Deku. There's the other person left. Welcome back to the to the world of the living. But yeah, I'm a big fan of Ida. I think he has pound for pound like one of the coolest outfits in the entire show. Like his outfit just looks amazing. Like he looks like a Japanese Power Ranger. He just looks so cool. So yeah, I definitely think he's got one of the best um, outfits in the game. Sorry, in the show. Yeah, just even outright in the show. Don't know how you guys feel about that. Do you think anyone else looks really cool somewhere? To... I'm not saying he's the coolest, but definitely up there. Definitely up there. Alright, I think I might go get involved again. Let's go eat that charm. Oh, I saw someone. That'll do it. Sorry, teach. The way that music just suddenly stopped just scared the hell out of me. Like, I thought something bad was about to happen. But yeah, Ida's a very cool character. Um, you know, his R2 are great for attacking people consecutively or getting him out of trouble, which you saw me use earlier. He's got a really good um, jump uh, jump strike. So look, that's it right there. It doesn't take anything away from your um, from your stuff. It's a very, very, very useful airstrike, both for hitting and for getting extra leverage. You need to go somewhere. Ida's, uh, Ida's a great character. They took away his double jump that he had in the beta, which kind of sucks, but... Um, I guess they had a reason for it. I would always recommend sort of running around the outskirts, trying to not get in people's faces until you do your stuff. Like, it's better for you to do your moves before they see you. Okay, we can see some action over there. So, like, use your L1 when you're hidden. Or when they don't know you're there. Uh oh. It's not good for business. Stay alive, lad. Okay, I'm gonna need to get some uh, breathing room for my cooldown. 
using the cards to help us out, little little bits, every little helps as they say. Poppy just about got up, I think. No, that is brutal. I was literally just about to finish her off. What a dodge that was, man. Okay, imagine they're somewhere around the back here. Get some high ground. Big hit on the froppy. Oh, no way. You can also combo that, um, that air kick into your other stuff as well. But it's, it takes some uh, some precision though. Nope, didn't need that. Surprise! It's mine all day. Don't ever underestimate the normal combo. The pressure was too much for Froppy. Ida takes the biscuit. Let's go. Ingenium. His brother would be proud. His brother would be proud. But yeah, so there you have it. There's a little Ida showcase for you. Um, you know, very good moves to get in and out of combat when you're using your Recipro. Try not to stay in the fire too long. Give yourself some uh, some breathing cool down so you can run away and let yourself recover those uh, seconds where he's basically, you know, smoking. Because if you get caught in the middle of something and you still got that, well, just expect to go down. Um, of course, he's got a good jump air kick. So make use of that while you can, whether it's to, you know, retreat or just for extra leverage or even to try to go for attacks. You can do R2, R2 and then uh, the jumping square. But that one's kind of finicky, so if you really need a third hit, I wouldn't really suggest making that, uh, what's the word, that risk. But, you know, it's up to you. His R1 is also very good. I like to open engagements with it if I know a hit is guaranteed. If I know a hit is guaranteed, I'd rather go with a slower, stronger kick. If I don't think it's guaranteed or if it's kind of frantic, I might try to go for the R2s instead. Um, yeah, that's what I'd say, just off the top of my head on how to play Ida, how to play him effectively. Uh... When you're using him in a team, try to let your other teammates start the engagements, then you can go around the, the side or back, and then that's when you can start causing havoc between enemy lines, just kicking everybody's butt left, right, and center, and then jumping in and out as and when needed. And, you know, of course, little fundamental things, like be sure to heal up often. When you're a character like Ida, who's constantly getting in people's faces, you basically need every bit of shield and health you can get. If you run into a fight with half your shields, that might be... The difference between you walking out of that fight and not walking out of that fight take every chance you get to top up on shields even if it's just like an extra 80 shields do what you gotta do because this is a character where you will be getting in people's faces and when you're in people's faces you're more likely to be here anyways thanks for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this little eater match just a fun one um and yeah i'll see you guys on the next one like comment sub all that good stuff